Here we have the setup with the flexion and extension splint. And you'll see the motor M1, the first motor, is going through the range set into the, through the hand control for flexion and extension. Here we have the ab and adduction with associated rotation splint setup. However, in this case, we are only doing ab and adduction at the moment. So if you'll notice, only the first motor, M1, has any motion going on. M2 is simply along for the ride. There is no rotation occurring. You can do your ab and adduction with your arm in any particular degree of rotation statically simply to get that range in abduction with your arm in a particular point of rotation. Here we now have just the second motor, M2, doing rotation only with no ab or adduction occurring. Just as you saw we can do ab or adduction with the arm held in any particular degree of rotation internally or externally, you can also put the first motor at any given range in the abduction range and then stop it there and then begin just rotation internal or external as we're doing now. So you can see abduction is held in place with the first motor and the second motor is the only one showing any motion. Here we have synchronized ab and adduction with rotation. You'll see that there is rotation going on at the axis of each of the two motors. This rotation motor in the foreground is rotating for internal or external, in this case external rotation. Motor M1 is going up into abduction you'll see that it is a truly synchronized motion. So we are moving synchronized into abduction with rotation, in this case of course external rotation, and then on the way back down we will be going towards internal rotation with adduction, ADD adduction. By definition, with the Centura Shoulder CPM, you cannot have more degrees of rotation than you do of abduction. For example, if your abduction settings are from 50 to 150, that's a total of 100 degrees you cannot have more than a total of 100 degrees of rotation. That would include your negative numbers for internal rotation as well as your positive numbers for external rotation. For example, if you had 30 degrees of internal, which would show on the display as a minus 30, from 30 back up to zero, you could only have another 70 degrees, so you could potentially have, in the case of 50 to 100 degrees of abduction, a setting from minus 30 to 70 of rotation. That would be 30 degrees of internal plus the 70 degrees of external 
giving you 100 degrees, you could not exceed that with your abduction settings, in this case at 50 to 150. You would have to either leave your rotation values there or increase your ab and adduction values. Generally, the rotational value is lower than the ab and adduction value, and in that case, the abduction range will be complete and the rotation range will occur at the upper end of the abduction. So you may have the bottom few degrees of your ab and adduction occur without any rotation going with it because it is a true one-to-one -one synchronized motion. For every degree of abduction there would be a degree of rotation